after that, this might not look as good because this episode is not by the same same for a nationwide search thousands became 100 then 38 but only the best 18 home cooks in america entered the master chef kitchen to battle it out for the ultimate culinary bragging rights guys guys it's hard to like a character when they cry five times per show okay some of the characters some 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 of them even the men Okay, men and women at the end were just annoying me. I, I, just annoying. I, 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 I am the next master chef. 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 <laughs> the pressure proved too much for most. Things like this give what I do a bad name. I would send you home now. Your time is done in Master Chef. What do we have left? Then? We had. We had. I don't like this Jennifer band because it's the And we, we had, we had, finale. drunk Andy, drunk, uh, only two cooks will move on to compete for and, a quarter and, of a million dollars. We had it. And the title of, we, we, we had it. Ah, 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 ah. Like, oh my god, dude, fucking hell, man, so annoying. After weeks of battle in the Master Chef kitchen, only three remain standing. Jennifer, the beauty queen from Delaware, who had one of the rockiest starts in MasterChef history. This is a complete disaster. You know, if it were for me, this is not a limit. Hey, hey spoiler, spoiler guy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the recap. Things around suddenly becoming one of the season's top contenders. Congratulations. Thank you. Jennifer. Oh. Jennifer. That looks <laughs> amazing. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> that was good. You know, I think a lot of people didn't think that I'd be here in the end. I've always kind of been the underdog, and that's fine with me. Adrian, the server from California, whose roller coaster journey has made the judges question his inconsistent moments of brilliance. It's disappointing. It's like fireworks on your palate. Really fabulous. It's like you've got hold of my granddad and turned his costume bag on your plate. That's yeah. delicious. That's Love disgusting, though. This could be another um, exit dish. The winning dish today, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. Yeah. Adrian's gonna bust At him. some points, making it to the final three seemed distant. But uh, now that I'm here, I'm totally owning it. And Christian, the single father from Massachusetts, who was a strong contender from oh, the very Jack, beginning. Oh, Jack, it's the wrong episode. He could win Master Chef. He really could. Yo, Mons, can you guys Christian. gather the last episode? It's absolutely delicious. But he has often let his arrogance. We thought the dish sucked. Think what you want. And temper. Let's go, Ben. Come on. Now. I don't have time for this. Upstage his culinary talents. You may want to be smart. Taste and educate yourself. I've had better. Everybody thinks I'm pretty arrogant. I think Christian's arrogance has outweighed his cooking. Absolutely do not doubt that I'm a better cook than Christian. I can win this competition. I think Christian can be an arrogant <laughs> but I think I can beat him, and I think I'm going to win it. Guys, I think I guys he's, com he's committed. He's committed, guys. The, the other episode, one of his hair dropped in one of the dishes, and it, they lost a lot of points. He cut his hair. An arrogant <laughs> but I think I can beat him. He doesn't give a fuck. He I cut his hair win. just for the show. I think I've fuck proven yeah, that man. I have a right he's to be committed. Arrogant. Top three. Here we are. Just three of you remain. You've made it to here, to the final Mystery Box Challenge. Should have gone bald. They get more points from Joe. That's what I was doing. Fuck it. Won. Fuck it. Just go bald so Joe relates and you get three from Joe too. Three. That's of fucking these dangerous. Sets. That's the way to do Adrian, it. Adrian, you've nailed two of them. And Christian, you won the very first Mystery Box. Well, today, your Master Chef journey. Is coming full circle. On the count of three, lift those boxes. Wait, what? One, two, a steak, a T bone, three. a T bone. Wow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> lift up the box and it's oh, a freaking shit. chicken again. A full chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this is America's most popular meat. You've got one hour to cook the most amazing chicken dish. It's that damn chicken. <laughs> it's full circle, back to where it started. It was a chicken that got you into this competition. Now it's a chicken that can give you a huge advantage in not the next challenge. Not enough time to prep it, to just fucking cut it and cook it. Just how far you've come. So we're giving you full access to the pantry. 
You'll have just 60 minutes no to shot. make the most important, stunning chicken dish that's going to confirm the journey across MasterChef. 60 minutes, you don't, Show us you don't fucking... Show how good you are. Your 60 minutes starts from... Right? 60 minutes, you cut, then you cook. No. Or for whatever you want to do. No shot, you, you cook the whole thing in the oven. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to get my head in the game and cook my ass off right now. I'm making a chicken breast, but I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm here to, to prove that I am the next master chef. I'm here as an original. I think Christian doesn't deserve to be in the finals because he can't think outside the box and he hasn't already Make done some it. Jamaican jerk it. chicken or some shit. This is completely awesome. Some top chicken of my head. jambalaya. I've never did this one before. It's gonna be complex, it's gonna have a lot of flavor in it. Should be really good. I'm pretty surprised Jennifer made it to the top three. She wasn't someone ahead on the radar. 15 minutes gone, 45 minutes left. Right? There's a lot of pressure in this Mr. Box challenge. Mm -hmm. You want to see something smart done with the legs. Super delicious, exactly. Boned out, stuffed yeah. maybe. Something nice. with that, yeah. Absolutely. And this is the MasterChef semifinal, so I mean, these guys have to bring it. Oh, what was that? Okay, Ooh. how are you feeling? Hello? You're doing awesome, Chef. Thank you. Good. What are you making? I'm actually going to use apples. I'm going to saute it up with the bacon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to actually stuff the chicken breast. Right. Um, and I'm going to finish it off in the oven. <laughs> In terms of the competition, you fear no one now. You're fearless. Absolutely. But deep down inside, there is one person that bugs the hell Apples. out of you. Stop the Standing fruits, two rows man. behind you. Stop. It's a love-to-hate relationship. Christian's just a pain in the ass. Really, I'm just trying to focus on my dish. I know that I can beat him. Wait, what did he do? 30 minutes gone. What did he do? 30 he... minutes to go. He's two rows okay, back doing his own thing. What Chill out, man. It's herb braised uh, chicken legs and thighs. That's, that's out of pocket. Big one squash puree. It looks like you've got 90% of the chicken sitting over there. So you're not going to do any kind of do wet. You're just doing like, just dark meat because I just want the dark meat. It's got all that flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got that fat. Really seems simple. What are you thinking? This dish is just evolving. I mean, it's mystery box challenge. This is what happens to me every time. I see. And stuff. you've had good luck with this technique of just random cooking. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. I could taste that. Don't overthink it, don't overthink it. Right, so talk to me about the dish. How are you cooking the chicken? In the oven, I uh, made a little herb butter, put it underneath the skin, uh, wrapped some bacon over it. Herb butter, what herbs are you using? Sage, yeah, what, order? Time. Uh -huh. what are you doing with the vegetables? I'm gonna make a carrot puree and pan toss these. The secret of a good master chef is that flair and that level of originality. This is a completely original dish. Jennifer thinks that I lack creativity. I really don't care what Jennifer thinks, because when I take her out of the competition, then she's going to have to eat those words. I'm going to cook from the heart, which is that... something I think that Christian lacks a little bit. 45 minutes gone, 15 minutes to go. And Jennifer, love the way those uh, chicken, chicken legs look. Ooh, yeah, that's, nice. that's, that's, that's oh, the best looking uh, uh, thing oh. on the benches right now. Those chicken legs. Right. I'm a little bit worried about Adrian, because at this point, again, he seems like he's just kind of cooking without a plan, kind of going as he goes. Is that a fucking risotto? A, an herb butter that he's sticking underneath the skins. What Sounds worries nice. me about Christian's dish is that, again, he's got carrots cooking in butter. He's got onions wilting in butter. He's got herb butter under the chicken skin. It's a double-edged sword using yeah. so much butter. Okay, folks, just under five minutes left, guys. Pull it together. It has to look beautiful, and it has Jesus, to blow man. us away. It's beautiful. Taste, 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 adjusting. My chicken's out of the pressure cooker. Tasting that, and it's good. I'm dressing it with a little more herb oil, a little lemon, and salt. Prove to us why you deserve to be in the final. Ooh, Come on. With Ten, the flowers, nine, yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Yeah. It's bussin'. Prove to us why you deserve to be in the final. As the last MasterChef Mystery Box Challenge comes to a close, Come on! One of these semi-finalists will gain a monumental advantage in the final elimination test. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Yo. They smell incredible. Somebody find or me in the last episode. Taste? Or, 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 chat, or out, out, of the, out of the finale. Check my logs for episode link. Let's uh, start from the back. Christian. Christian's late. Looks like.
It you, doesn't you, look you, like there's you, a lot of components to it. So I took my chicken, yeah, covered it with some bacon, made like kind of a French onion sauce. Mm -hmm. French onion, it, okay. Some acorn squash mm -hmm. with some uh, purple romesco. Um, carrot puree looks grainy. I haven't even tasted it yet. You can just see the sort of skid mark on the side it's a of little the grainy. plate. Yeah, it's a little grainy. It's not wrong. Is it dry? Chicken looks nice and moist. Okay. Chicken's good nicely. That drum needs about a minute, minute and a half inside. But it's freaking delicious. Ooh. Oh, that looks busted for sure. Overall, the flavor, it works. It is heavy, but it's, to me, a, a pretty sound chicken dish. So, good job. Is it good for Master Chef, though? A sound dish for or a Master Chef? I don't know. Oh, the skin and the, and the breast is, it's well cooked. It's actually quite good. So I, I, I feel that although I think it's quite delicious, I don't love the plating. But actually, the dish works. Oh, thank you. Well, that's a, that's a the judges aren't really liking my plating, and no, I don't really care. <laughs> OK. Adrian, okay, dude. please so, come forward. So done. I'm looking at Adrian's plate, and I'm wondering, where's the chicken? We have rice with a um, little bit of the acorn squash puree, mushroom, wilted spinach, the braised chicken. How to eat asparagus, that? Asparagus. How the and fuck do you uh, eat this? Oil. That's delicious. Oh. Thank you. What's the, the crispiness? Is that bacon? A little bit of bacon. I cooked the asparagus in rendered bacon fat. Baby asparagus totally picked up the flavor of the bacon. The chicken okay. really made it nice and tender, fork tender, you know, like falling apart. You should be really proud of that. Thank you. Good job in one hour. That was yeah, I mean, it's bizarre because it doesn't look that appetizing. But it's bloody delicious. But the chicken's nice. Your salsa verde is delicious. Thank you. The rice is amazing. And for kind of a rice snob, it's good, but it's got it all going on. It's very crunchy. They, they almost finished the dish. They, they loved it. It captures the spirit of the dish. Congratulations, great dress. Oh, they loved it. They, they, they almost finished it. I feel like I want it. Please, Last but not least, throw. Jennifer, please come up. Please throw. Looking over at Jennifer's dish, it was boring. What do we have? Rustic chicken. I stuffed the chicken with apples, bacon, onion. Uh, put a little jalapeno in there for some heat. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm? Say nothing. Say nothing. I didn't think I was such a sucker that I would like chicken wrapped in bacon, but you're convincing me. Your potatoes are slightly undercooked. Crunchy potatoes? Yikes. That chicken's delicious. Wasn't a big fan of the apple going inside the breast. However, you've made it work. No, you know she didn't. I'm He's lying. He's lying. Like it's undercooked. And that's about two and a half minutes short two. of falling off that bone. Two and a half for us bad potatoes. The breast for me is a little over. It doesn't have that real moist flavor. I love the veggies. Thank Those you. are great. Thank you. What? No, he said the potatoes are crunchy. What are you on? What is he, what are you talking about? Tough. What is he talking it's about? Crunchy. It's always ridiculous when we're standing there and they're like talking amongst themselves and it's taking forever for them to decide. This next advantage is monumental. The dish that we felt was the weakest out of your chicken dishes. Jennifer. That dish belongs to. Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. Yes, 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 yes. The bacon and the apple were beautifully rest moist, delicious. Your big letdown was an undercooked chicken thigh. Why don't you take that, Jennifer? Yeah. I think I might win this mystery take box. That. The dish that stood out, it was a unanimous decision. Adrian, Adrian. Congratulations. Warlord. Uh, I saw his lips. Yo, editor, producer. Yo, editor, producer! I saw his lips, you fucker! With Jennifer coming in third place, it's down to Adrian 
or Christian as the winner of the final mystery box challenge of the season. The dish that stood out. Congratulations. Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I knew that. Good job. Ah. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Jennifer came in third. I think I showed her that she's not all that she thinks she is. For the first time in MasterChef, all three of you are coming through to the pantry. Jennifer, Adrian, Christian, the heat is on. on. Let's go. So what's the advantage then? Hello? This is a elimination test. Two of you are going through to the final, and one of you is going home. The theme so of tonight's I'll, I'll elimination test gebated. is based all yeah, on... I added gebated. Joe Bastianich's favorite ingredients. You're in for a big surprise. Adrian, listen carefully. Yes, sir. Because you won the Mystery Box Challenge, you will pick first. Christian, you were second, so you get to pick for you, but also for Jennifer. Are you ready to see the three ingredients? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the first ingredient is one that I think yep. speaks to it. the sensibility of great I European cuisine, and that ingredient is veal. Veal? Why? I just... Joe's second ingredient. This is the fourth time they use veal in the show. Uh, veal, really? Mushrooms. A great ingredient, one that has captured my imagination my entire life. The final of Joe's favorite ingredients, the most amazing. Pasta. Huge. No, 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 I'm sorry. But you can Fresh make octopus. Pasta. Delicious. What? Honestly, I'm hoping for the octopus. Uh, I know it's the hardest, but it's also the one that I have a really great idea for. Adrian, you will be picking for you and yourself alone. Which of my favorite foods do you want to steal away from your rivals? He's going to go with the uh, veal, 100%. Actually, he's back with the veal mushroom. My strategy is not letting Christian choose the octopus. It's going to be octopus. What? Really? What You've the fuck are you doing? Before? What is he doing? Yes. You know, it's tricky. Yes. Wow. The octopus is the hardest what ingredient. What the fuck is this script? It's a perfect way for me to stand out as well. Christian, your choices are an amazing array of mushrooms or a stunning table of veal cuts. The fact that Christian's deciding my fate is ironically funny. Haha. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take the veal. I'm giving Jennifer the mushrooms. Yes. I'm thinking maybe Jennifer will fall short. So I picked the veal, so she gets stuck with the mushrooms. Brave. Jennifer, you've got the mushrooms. I grew up outside of Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania, which is... Mushroom capital, mushrooms. USA. Oh, my God. The land God. of mushrooms. Oh, my God. I'm excited. I grew up with mushroom farms literally in my backyard. Did you know, Christian, that Jennifer had an affinity with mushrooms? No idea. <laughs> I'm pissed. I didn't realize that Jennifer was a mushroom Don't be pissed, queen. man. Don't be pissed. My bad. You play off of your strengths. You not will have 10 minutes of your to opponent's weaknesses. Pantry. Now, this time I'm really conceptualizing the dish way before I'm putting it on the plate. Everything's at stake for all of us right now. This is the final dish that you're going to make before you get into the finals if you make it. This is the most important dish of my life. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay. I've got one more ingredient. I need to show you. Oh, no. Ooh. Let's go. Huh? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ten stars back. Hey, right, all ten. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, the competitors guy. back in the Master Chef kitchen to cheer you all on into Aaron. the final. What do you think? The final Tracy. three. Yeah. Alejandra. Thank you. Max. Seeing all of the faces Tony. that 
went along on this journey with me. Um, it's awesome. Oh, please. Max, one and only. How many restaurants do you have so far in New York? <laughs> more on. importantly, how many girlfriends do you have back home now? A few more. All right. Ben <laughs> Moving on, Ben Starr. What do you think about the competition and who's got the, uh, the gusto to go all the way? I think Adrian is gonna change the world of food as we know it, not just win this competition. Wow. Christine, they let you out. Yo, what up, man? She's drunk again. Did you escape? <laughs> you know who I want to win? My girlfriend, Jennifer. There you go. Why? I think she has passion, and she's in love with food, and I think this bitch is going to rock it out. And Susie, who's just hot out of the proverbial yeah. frying pan. Now, not who do you think will win, Susie. Yeah. Who do you want to win? Um, the person that I want to win is a person that I lost to, so Christian. Thank I you. want to lose to the best. Wait. Woo! Now he's coping. Wow. OK, I'd like all of you to head what? on into the gallery and watch with bated breath, please. All three of you, please take your stations. Thank you. Right now, I need to put my blinders on, just like a racehorse does. I can see the Makes finish sense. line. Yeah, it's it almost there. I need to round that fourth bend and I need to kick it into high gear and get across the line before these two boys. This now is the most important elimination test you've ever faced in MasterChef. For two of you, it will propel you into the final, and for one of you, it will send you to the gallery. Yeah, the problem is that, guys, I'm gonna fight. guys, the problem is that Jennifer, when she does something that she knows about, she goes hard, dude. And it, it, Christian does well, and he's doing something that he doesn't know how to do. But now they give him, they give her the My upper hand in the, in the semis, man. Taking Jennifer down. If there's ever a time, not just to multitask, but really create the most authentic, the most delicious, and visually, the most stunning dish so far in this competition, it's now. You've got 60 minutes. 60 minutes only. And your time starts now. now. In the final elimination test, no. a spoiler guy, we got it. End of the chat. Time. This contest throws you curveballs all the time. It's like playing a game of chess. It's like had a bunch of pawns that were going to get sacrificed. Now it's down to like the bishop, the horse, and the castle. I'd be the castle. <laughs> it's a tough one. And the ingredients are incredible. That's yeah. stuff you never see in the store. Yeah. I'm making a pulpo, which is octopus. This is the first thing that I could remember tasting when I was a kid. So I must have been like four or five years old. This is the first thing I ate that blew me away. Having octopus puts me at a disadvantage because it's what? difficult to cook. I want to show that I have what it takes to, to be here, that I deserve it, and I want to go home. The octopus, I think it really offers you as a cook the most challenging way to distinguish yourself. It's really something that will either make or break you, I think. What would you do? I would do an octopus stew done with some stunning tomatoes, peppers, garlic, chilies, a little bit of saffron on there, mm. but with some heat there. Just over 40 minutes to go. I pick veal. I'm going to pressure cook some asabuco or uh, veal shanks. The rest is in development. I had no idea that she uh, knew mushrooms so well. Retrospect is always uh, 2020. In development? So. Hello? Hopefully, Christian? Still crash and burn. The veal. It's a dream ingredient, but it can back to bite him on the ass. Mm -hmm. It's not his strengths, cooking meat. He's a fish What cook. the? Christian! The double chop, and in 10 minutes, I would have been done, because I would have done the milanese, mm. pounded it out thin, fried in half butter, half olive oil, with a beautiful tomato arugula salad on top. Nice. That array of mushrooms is incredible. Yeah. I'd come up with a stunning mushroom consomme and do little tortellinis of mushrooms as a garnish. I'm gonna make mushroom ragu over top of fresh made pasta. Feeling really good. I'm extremely done. comfortable it's with done. mushrooms. Fuck I think the boys the thought show, it would man. be something to throw me under the bus, but I can wear heels and run and cook, so back uh, off. It makes me really pissed off because that could have been my spot. <laughs> Jennifer took my spot. We've now got 30 minutes to go. As with all elimination challenges, contestants only have those initial 10 minutes in the pantry to choose their ingredients. Once that time has passed, there's no going back. Oh. No, 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 you fucker, there's no shot. We got flour! 
Who's got flour I can borrow? Anybody? None. I do, but I'm using it. Bitch! I just need, like, you bitch! a couple Is it now? I, I don't know how much I'm going to need, Christian. Sorry. I, I'm, 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 I'm still did, making I, my I can't. I'm done, dude. I'm done. Oh, Karma's a bitch, isn't it? If she didn't want to give me flour, just say you don't want to give me flour. I can handle that. But don't try and blow smoke up my ass like you need all your flour. I don't really care if she doesn't want to share her flour or whatever. I'll do it without it. Go we'll take it. Flour. Yeah. It's a contest. We'll knock the fuck I out. I think Jennifer is going to be the next master chef. In your face, Christian. Honestly, I think this is a fraud. You do. Christian, in his own right, has no respect for me. So I'm hoping today that changes when I send him home. Come on. You have the most amazing array of mushrooms. Yes, I do. Can they take you to the final? Absolutely. 100%. But I'm not yeah. looking for a little dainty bowl of pasta and mushrooms. I'm looking for a wow factor. This is going to be a wow factor. It's going to be a mushroom ragu. Create something stunning. I will, chef. I'm very surprised Jennifer made it this far. I thought that she was going to leave shortly after I left. Actually, she probably should have left before I left. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Adrian, something new and different. More rice. I'm gonna do a black bean, black garlic puree stock. What are you doing with the fufu? Stock, wine, veg stock. Uh, I got aromatics, herbs, chilies. How are you gonna make sure it's tender? So I tenderize it with a mount. I've slapped it around a couple times in the pressure cooker, and then I'm also gonna sear it off. Because obviously the biggest jeopardy with a big octopus like that is to make sure it's tender, because if it's not tender, it's like eating a rubber tire. I agree. It's gonna make it happen, Joe. Don't worry, guys. Right. How you feeling? Yeah, you look yeah. a little bit all over the place. Uh, I am a little bit all over the place. OK, so talk to me about the dish. What are you doing? Um, so I'm going to make a uh, mashed potato with a vegetable medley. And um, I'm braising my uh, shanks and uh, see if those come out. If they're not tender enough and not ready, then uh, I'm going to pan sear uh, one of the T-mons there. You're no, no, no. minutes away no, no. from what either going fuck, out the fuck, or into fuck. the final. Yeah. 20 minutes not ready, he's going to fucking what? 20 minutes. Chewy. So I open up the pressure cooker and uh, I see that my veal shanks are not braised down enough to the point where I want them to be. Do you think Christian you make it? Fuck no. this show. No. no. It's close. Very close. So I just scratch that off the list and go to plan B. What is Christian cooking? What is this? Shut Meat up. and potatoes? Seriously? 1982 called and they want their cauliflower medley back. This is so ridiculous. Okay. With less than 15 minutes wow, to cool. go, the curry is Jennifer calling and no, 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 nobody wants to her back on the show. Years. Shut up. My original plan was to do pappadelli, but I'm going to change it up. I'm actually going to do a ravioli instead. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to bring everything to the plate that I possibly have. She's a scum game all the time. What's your business with ravioli? I think she's going to try to make a ravioli. But she's still got to assemble it. She's got to finish piping. You know, she's got to get the filling in there. She doesn't even have water boiling. She's screwed. Last 10 minutes. Come on. Adrian, come on, baby, do it. The two of you, oh, 10 minutes away from the final. Wow, dude, so cool, bro. Oh, she's doing the egg yolk. She's doing the egg yolk pasta. I have an egg in the middle of my ravioli. The purpose for that is so when you break into it, the what yolk the breaks fuck over the even entire dish that? and kind of creates the sauce along with the mushrooms. I've made a lot of what pasta. The and if I was her right now, that? I'd be really nervous. If the egg yolk breaks, I'm going home. And if I was her right now, I'd be really nervous. If the egg yolk breaks, I'm going home. Come on, 60 seconds to go. One ravioli. Thank Every you. Second. Jennifer, hurry. Woo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Hands in the air. Tough elimination test. Cooking a stunning entree. Ah! Oh! Using Joe's favorite ingredients. Adrian, please come forward. Okay, so Jennifer would get eliminated plate, here, and, but um, instead he made a little he's rice done square it. again, which I'm pretty sure he did in the last challenge. Talk to me, the octopus. The pulpo itself. Rice again. And seared, again with the rice. Bit of paprika oil. Finished off with a little bit of blood orange juice. Saffron rice on top. Three episodes in a row. Three! Up. What the? And a watercress salad for the contrast. Even if tonight is your last 
that dish is the one that is going to stand out this year in MasterChef because it is one of the most beautifully plated else, I've ever seen. Thank you, Chef. Let's just hope it tastes as good as it looks. The big disappointment... None of seasoning. ..is the better rice sat underneath it. It's definitely not the best rice dish you've cooked in MasterChef, Adrian. Yes, Chef. And the octopus? Adrian? It's delicious. It's got that nice heat to it as well, cos it's just so inviting. Thank you. Adrian? The man with the biggest advantage. And when we cut into it... I hope it has a... Uh, the outside has a slight al dente, but I hope it melts away in your mouth. The rice leaves something to be desired, flavor-wise. Puree with the black garlic is genius. Okay. The biggest thing you have going for you is that you absolutely nailed the octopus. Yeah. Great job. Say nothing. Say nothing. The salad is wonderfully dressed. Thank you. What's the dressing? Just Meyer lemon, blood orange, and olive oil. The octopus is really amazing. Thank Congratulations. You. Very Thank good you, dish. Chef. Appreciate it. Adrian nails his octopus, but all the rest of the components on the dish, they were kind of wishy-washy, so I'm thinking, good. <laughs> Christian, come up, please. Bring your dish. Christian's dish is beige. For a semi-final round, it doesn't have that wow factor. I'm excited. What's going on here? Braise the asabuco, uh, a little root veg medley with some yellow romesco, some simple mashed potatoes, salt and pepper, cream and butter. But you wouldn't put a bone-in pork chop over a bed of mash, right? Um... You want me to finish the plate for you? If that's what you feel like you need to do. I'll slice it for the benefit of my other judges so they can have a nice bite when they get up That looks eat. fine. Joe pulls my T-bone off there and slices it up and puts it back on my plate. I'm thinking, f*** you, Joe. <laughs> Oh, he loves it. Don't, don't act. Stop the fucking act already. Oh, please, Joe. Fucking stop, dude. Say how it is. Mashed potatoes are beautiful this time. Thank Very you. creamy, rich. I think the cook on the veal is great. I feel like there's a little bit of vision missing, especially at semi-final round of MasterChef. But the flavors are good. Let's just pretend it was well plated. Just forget about it. Just, you know, it's on. really hard to do a T-bone evenly cooked through, and you've managed to do that here. Yeah, but yeah, yes, I don't understand the sauce. The flavors are all there uh, on their own. It's on the side, you moron. That was the most panicked I've seen you. Yeah, I was a little frazzled. Yeah. You know, it's a lot riding on this. And mash, delicious vegetables. Semi boring. And I'm going to say the same to you as I said to Adrian. That is not your best dish, Christian. Thank you. Jennifer, please, come on. You can feel the eyes of everyone just, up in the throw, gallery. And I can feel the eyes of the judges, and I'm like, dear God. Okay, what's the dish? I did a mushroom ravioli with an egg in the middle and garnished with a mushroom ragu. So the egg should become the sauce that coats High the heels in the kitchen and erodes oh, the pasta. Please. Correct. I hope they cut through that and it's like a hard boiled egg in there. It's such a dangerous attempt at something that requires years of technical ability. Joe, Graham. That, that looks like a nightmare. A fucking nightmare. I'm impressed. Let's see what it tastes like. It's an egg. You fucking chill. It's an egg. Who cares? You are one crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
The yolk is delicious. It's cooked, so it's got that richness over the mushrooms. It needs seasoning to perfect the dish, salt or parmesan to really help that yolk shine. I just hope it's good enough to take you to the final. Chef. Your mushrooms, you're there flavor-wise, delicious. Pasta, tad undercooked, about 30 seconds. Man, 30 seconds can make or break you at this point in the competition. I'm not prepared for this. Uh, I guess I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready yet. Fuck, oh, man. Speaks for itself. The anticipation of whether or not you're going to be in the finals is ugh. vegetable medley. I know he's gone. He's either going to do it. Knowing it's just right there is the most anxiety that I've ever felt. That array of mushrooms. Any little mistake can send you home. I'm absolutely not ready to go home. I'm not packed, and I'm not packing. Jennifer, a very technical take on a ravioli. Well done. Really well done. Adrian, braising a octopus. You nailed it. I mean, really nailed it. And Christian, the cook on the veal was delicious. With respect to the gallery, trust me, you three are clearly the right three to be into the semi-finals of MasterChef. But there'll only be two going through to the final. Yeah. Jennifer, go up front. The first person to take a place in the MasterChef final is... is... <laughs> the first person to take a place in the MasterChef final is... Is... Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer? Jennifer. Adrian. <laughs> I feel more confident than ever, and I got it's that over. chance now to really the bring point. it home. It's a dream come true already. That means it's, it's over then. What the fuck? The bane of my existence is standing next to me. Truly and honestly, the thorn of my side That's from, so from the beginning. That's so fucking lame. Jennifer, Christian, one of you will face Adrian in the final of MasterChef. That's me and Jennifer standing up there, and I'm <laughs> my pants. This could be the end of the road. Is it the real estate agent from Delaware or the stay-at-home dad. What the so fuck in the hell is there to stay in Delaware anyway? Fucking boxes. It's almost fitting that fuck it's off. Christian and I. We've had this ultimate battle throughout the entire competition, and I really hope that they send him home. The person going head-to-head -head for the title of MasterChef with a quarter of a million dollars. Congratulations. Jennifer. Jennifer! Fucking shit. Fucking shit, trash show. Dude, I'm so done, dude. Dude, this is so I am on lame. Cloud nine. It's like I've slayed the dragon. Karma's a bitch, baby, and it comes back to bite you in the ass. I'm shocked. I didn't think they were gonna send me home. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have gave Jennifer the mushrooms. We love. No, it was fine. That it, was fine. it was a fine that call. That spirit. You've produced some magic. Follow that dream. You have the determination and fine. focus to take you a long way. Thank you. Come here, you. This script is rigged. Yeah, brother. <laughs> you arrogant. <laughs> she lives in a fucking mushroom <laughs> biome. <laughs> And the they give her every that mushroom that ever grow stars. on the earth. What the get fuck even is and get that? Those stars. <laughs> Put your apron on the bench. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Good job. Well done. Thank you, guys. Christian is very talented. He's a great cook. 
I'm a little shocked to see him go. I thought he would be a competitor at the end, for sure. Christian's intense. We kind of had this love and hate relationship. He's pompous. He's arrogant. He's disrespectful. Of course, he's a great cook, and I give him praise for that. However, I'm glad that they sent him home. Here's your walking papers, little boy. Get going. Ha ha, then. Ha 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 I'm a little shocked that I'm not in the final two. She would have lost next round anyway. She would have lost next round. auditions all the way up until today. If you don't come into this competition believing that you can make it to the end, then you're not going to win Master Chef. And you can be arrogant okay, to chat. a point. Guys, you have to next episode in is very uh, on a sketchy side, so I'm going to have to go uh, full screen. Hold up. And then there were two. Congratulations! <laughs> Not on YouTube. Jennifer. Yes, Chef. How do you feel? It's great to finally well, get a thorn out of my side. You don't want to awesome. <laughs> Just one person stands between both of you <laughs> for the most amazing title of America's Next Master Chef, plus a quarter of a million dollars. There can only be one winner. So here's where you kiss the nicey nice goodbye, because now the heat is really on. My final question to both of you. Who's going to win MasterChef? Obviously, you guys pay me. <laughs> I want a bad for myself. I want to be able to okay. say I'm MasterChef. This is my game. This is my game to win or lose, and I'm going to bring everything out of the arsenal in order to come out on top and be the next MasterChef. Game on, baby. Bring it.